Hey guys, welcome to Speak About Digital. In this video, I'm going to guide you on how you can easily use RemNote. I'm going to cover a very quick basic tutorial to get you going and understand how RemNote works. So, if you have no idea about RemNote and how to get started, then this video is for you. RemNote is a powerful note-taking and knowledge management tool that can help you organize your ideas, learn more efficiently, and boost your productivity. By the end of this tutorial, you'll have a solid understanding of how to use RemNote effectively and make the most out of this powerful tool. Just before we start, please consider giving me a thumbs up, otherwise I will go ahead and jump right into the RemNote tutorial. The first thing that you want to do is, if you didn't create your account yet, you'll have a link down below in the description. It's very easy to create an account, and if you already have an account, just skip this step. First, click on the Sign Up for Free button on the home page. You will then be prompted to provide your details such as your name, email address, and password to create your account. Alternatively, you can sign up using your Google account or Apple ID if you prefer. Once you have completed the sign up process, you will be taken to your account dashboard. This is where you can start exploring RemNote's features and functionality. The RemNote dashboard is the main interface where you can access your notes documents, and other features. It's a user-friendly and customizable interface that allows you to navigate and manage your notes efficiently. The left sidebar is a key component of the dashboard and contains several tabs such as Profile, Search Bar, All Notes, Today's Note, Flashcards, Interactive Tour, Documents, Daily Documents, and Create Button. You can also hide the left sidebar if you need more space to view your notes or documents. To hide the sidebar, you can click on the arrow sign next to your profile section. You can then click the arrow again to pin the sidebar if you want it to remain visible. First I'll show you what you can actually find in RemNote, and then I will show you how we can use RemNote. The profile section is an essential component of the RemNote dashboard, providing you with access to various settings, plugins, groups, and more. This section enables you to manage your account and customize your RemNote experience to suit your preferences. The Settings subsection allows you to manage your account settings, plans, and other general preferences. The Plugins subsection is another useful feature available in the Profile section. You can download a range of plugins such as Statistics, Dictionary, RemTree, and many more. These plugins help enhance your RemNote experience and allow you to perform tasks more efficiently. Lastly, the group subsection helps you share documents and flashcards with your friends, making collaboration more accessible and efficient. Shared content is read-only, ensuring that your documents remain secure. You can create groups for your classes, study groups, and more, and invite your friends to join in for a more productive learning experience. The search bar allows you to search for specific notes or documents within your account. When you type a search query in the search bar, RemNote will display a list of results that match the query. The search results will include notes, documents, and flashcards that contain the searched keyword or phrase. You can also use advanced search operators to refine your search queries and get more specific results. The All Notes tab enables you to access all the notes and documents you have created in your RemNote account. By clicking on the All Notes tab, you can view a comprehensive list of all your documents, which can be further categorized by folders, top-level rem, PDFs, and daily documents. You can also sort and filter your notes to quickly locate specific documents. For example, you can sort your notes alphabetically or by date created, and filter your notes by specific tags or keywords. This feature makes it easy to find the information you need and saves you time in searching for specific documents. The Today's Note tab allows you to create notes quickly and efficiently for the current day. This feature is particularly useful for those who want to create daily notes such as for daily journaling or to plan their studies. When you click on the Today's Note tab, a new note is automatically created with the current date as the title. This note can then be used to jot down ideas, goals, or any other relevant information for the day. You can also customize the note with different formatting options. In addition to serving as a shortcut for creating daily notes, the Today's Note feature can also be used as a daily calendar to plan your studies or keep track of priorities. You can add reminders, deadlines, and other important information to your notes to stay organized and on track with your tasks. 
The Flashcards tab helps you memorize information quickly and efficiently. The Flashcards tab in RemNote provides you with an overview of all of the flashcards that you have created, allowing you to review their content and track your progress. You can create new flashcards in RemNote by clicking on the Flashcards tab and selecting the Create a Card button. You can then add questions, answers, and other relevant information to the flashcard to enhance your learning experience. The interactive tour in RemNote is a helpful feature that provides you with a guided tour of the platform specifically designed for new users. Its purpose is to help you understand the different features and functions of RemNote, such as how to create new documents, use flashcards, and organize your notes efficiently. If you are a new user who is not familiar with the RemNote interface, the interactive tour can be an excellent tool to quickly learn how to use the platform. The Documents tab provides an overview of all the documents that you have created. When a document is created and pinned, the Documents tab divides into pinned and unpinned documents. This allows you to easily differentiate between documents that have been pinned for quick access and those that have not. This feature is particularly useful for users who have a large number of documents and want to quickly locate the ones they use most frequently. The Daily Document tab displays all the notes or documents that have been created using the Today's Note feature. This feature allows you to quickly create notes for the current day and organize them in a centralized location. Lastly, the Create button allows users to create new documents and folders. So, creating a new document in RemNote is a simple process. First, click the Plus Create button located at the bottom left sidebar. This will bring up three options blank document, folder, and upload PDF. If you select blank document, you can start creating a new document from scratch. If you select folder, a new folder will be created for your documents. You can add documents to this folder later. If you choose upload PDF, you can either upload a PDF document from your computer or paste the link of a PDF. In this tutorial, we will create a new document from scratch. Therefore, we will click on Blank Document. After selecting Blank Document, a new document will open where you can add content to it. The first step is to add your document's title. You can also add sources and tags to your documents. To add sources and tags, hover over the title of the document and you will see two options, Add a Source or PDF and Show Tags. If you want to add a source or reference, click on Add a Source or PDF and enter the link of the source. To add tags to your documents, click on Show Tags and add relevant tags related to your document. Next, create a bullet point rem, by clicking the grayed out bullet below the title. Type some text into your rem. Once you've added bullets to your rem, you can customize the text by making it bold, italic, underlined, and more. You can add content to your document by clicking on the plus icon right here. This lets you insert content such as to-do, list, image, header, etc. After completing your document, you can pin it to the left sidebar by clicking on the star at the upper right side of your document. If you want to share your document, you can also share it with the RemNote community and group. To share the document you created, click on Share at the upper right side of your notes and select your preferred choice. Clicking the three dots at the top right of the screen gives you more options. For example, from here you can export your document as text, markdown, HTML, etc. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using RemNote. You can check the links in the description, that helps a lot, thank you! So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching.